Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today we are going to solve simple probability problems in genetics and here's a problem. Assume simple dominance in an organism heterozygous for five genes if the organism is self-fertilized. Question A. What is the probability that the first progeny will have a genotype identical to that of the parent? And uh, again, we are told that um, this parent, let's assume that this is plant, uh, is heterozygous for five genes. In diploid organism, we expect uh, genes to be, for example, first gene A to be heterozygous and to be heterozygous for the second gene B, to be heterozygous for the third gene C, and to be heterozygous for the fourth gene D and to be heterozygous for the fifth gene E. And we self-pollinate this organism, that means uh, we cross with the same genotype. Capital A, small a, capital B, small b, capital C, small c, and capital D, small d, and capital E, small e. Now, in order to answer all the questions, we just have to follow simple logic. For example, take a look. Uh, here is one allelic pair, here is another allelic pair. And in order to find what is the probability that the progeny is going to be genotypically identical, we have to find the probability that the progeny is also going to be heterozygous for the gene A. So let's build a simple Punnett square. So uh, genotype uh, of the uh, parent one and both uh, first genotype is going to be parent one and second also going to be parent one because this is self-fertilization. So and the same genotype for the same gene on the side here and Take a look, probability uh, that the progeny is going to be heterozygous is going to be one half. And as you see, this is the same as two out of four or one half. And the same probability we are going to get uh, for the gene B, it's also going to be one half. The same probability we are going to get for the gene C, it's going to be one half. And for the gene D, it's going to be one half. And of course, the same probability for the gene E, it's also going to be one half. So now, uh, in order to find probability that all these events for each uh, gene would happen, we just have to uh, multiply all these independent probabilities. So one half multiplied by one half by one half and by one half is equal to one half in the power of five. Or let's count one half multiplied by one half would be one quarter, multiplied by one half is going to be one eighth, multiplied by one half would be one sixteenth, and multiplied by one half is going to be um, one out of thirty-two. And now let's read question B. Uh, what proportion of the progeny will be homozygous? And take a look, uh, again, uh, for the gene A, for this allelic pair, if we cross, we expect that uh, the progeny uh, going to be with a homozygous dominant or a homozygous recessive as one quarter and one quarter. One quarter plus one quarter is going to be one half. So. Uh, the answer is going to be the same. Again, it is not specified whether homozygous dominant or homozygous 
recessive. If the question would be uh, what is the probability that all the progeny would be homozygous dominant, then the answer would be one quarter multiplied by one quarter by one quarter and by one quarter five times. But because uh, it is not specified here uh, whether it's going to be homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive, as you see, probability that the progeny is going to be homozygous would be one half or two out of four. So the answer is going to be the same. And question C, what proportion of the total progeny will phenotypically exhibit the dominant form of the five genes? And uh, here is the important word uh, phenotypically uh, and the three genotypes would make one dominant phenotype. So probability for the gene say A uh, to in the progeny in the F1 generation uh, to get a dominant phenotype would be 3 out of 4. And the same is true for each gene. So for the gene A in the progeny to show dominant phenotype the probability would be 3 quarters. For the gene B also going to be 3 quarters. For the gene C also 3 quarters. And for the gene D is going to be 3 quarters. And lastly for the gene E also going to be 3 quarters. Now we have to multiply all these independent probabilities or we can say that this is 3 quarters in a power of 5. In numerator we are going to have 3 multiplied by 3, 9, multiplied by 3, 27, multiplied by 3, 81, and multiplied by 3 is 243. So 243 divided by and 4 multiplied by 4, 16 multiplied by 4 is 64, multiplied by 4 is uh, 256 and multiplied by 4 is going to be 1024. 1024. And this is going to be an answer for the third question C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.